uh, we mess of it and he needs to do better in that. Mr Chairman, I'm going to take a call on vote treaty negotiations uh, and thank the uh, previous speaker for her helpful comments on the post-settlement commitments unit. She raises some very interesting issues uh, and I agree with her that early engagement, uh, particularly with local government, provides opportunities and also enables issues to be uh, clarified at an early stage and that's exactly what I want to do on harbours negotiations which are coming up. I also want to pay tribute to the Office of Treaty Settlements for their excellent work over the past 12 months. They are a very dedicated bunch of people and I'm very proud to work with them. Some of them uh, also act as treaty negotiators. So for example, Ngāti Hawa uh, and Heratonga Tamatia were negotiated in-house uh, and that is my plan with Ngāpui as well. But I do want to say something about the money expended on external treaty negotiators because of what I think was a vulgar, crude and intemperate attack on them uh, by the Right Honourable Mr Peters uh, earlier in the day where he said that the fees were colossal uh, and somewhat bizarrely said that I was giving jobs to my mates. Now, I'm very fond of uh, both Paul Swain and Rick Barker, but I don't know that they'd want to be called my mates. I do have great, unlike uh, for that honourable member, I do have great respect for them uh, because uh, I said to Mr Swain some years ago, would he like to uh, work with me on the Nati Perot matter? And he did such a very good job that I asked him if he'd work on some others. And so in recent times, uh, Paul Swain has negotiated the Taranaki settlement, uh, which will hopefully be signed in September, Mana Ahariri, Ngāti Hiniuru, which we're going to debate for the first time tomorrow, Mongahararu Tangitu. Uh, Mr Swain is an excellent negotiator, uh, and uh, if anything, I don't think he charges enough. I have huge respect for him. Uh, well, you tell him, but <laughs> don't, tell him, don't tell him too loud. Uh, but the, se the second, the second uh, person that they insulted, the second person they insulted, uh, Mr Peters insulted, was Mr. S Mr Barker, and I approached him after he left Parliament in 2011 and said, would he like to do a few negotiations for me? And he's doing a great job. For example, Te Atiawa, Ngā Ruahine, which we're debating for the first time tomorrow. So I'm very happy to say that these external negotiators are very good value for money, are providing excellent service uh, and are achieving results. And I say to New Zealand first, that their tendency to personalise things and attack the individual, as they have done with my treaty negotiators, is something I resent and something I think is quite simply disgusting. As I said this afternoon to a journalist, Mr Peters is nothing more than the, the Donald Trump of New Zealand politics who wants nothing more than a cheap headline. These people are good people and I am very proud of the work they are doing regardless of party or regardless of background. And another person uh, that the Right Honourable Member attacked this afternoon was John Wood. John Wood, who's Chancellor of Canterbury and has been doing an excellent job there uh, and was twice our ambassador in Washington, an outstanding public servant, has negotiated two extremely difficult treaty negotiations and done phenomenally well. And I refer to his negotiation with Tuhoi and his uh, landmark negotiation with the Wanganui River. Uh, and these are the sorts of people I've had working with me over the years, regardless of party, regardless of background, dedicated uh, to achieving just and durable settlements for the benefit of New Zealand. And if the New Zealand First Speaker, who obviously wants to stand up next for his penny's worth, has any decency, he will apologise to those people uh, because his leader's statements were unfair and were simply disgusting. The final point I want to make is in relation to Tūri Whenua reform, because I do think the Honourable Nanaya Mahuta was a little unfair on that issue. This is the first 
com comprehensive rewrite of Tūri Whenua for well over a generation. Uh, the 1993 Act was never really fit for purpose, uh, and so what we are seeking to do is take a fresh look at it, and there's been an exposure draft put out to enable proper discussion, and there are lots of issues, and we make no apologies for the fact that there's a lot of work to be done there, polishing the jewels so that everyone benefits from the reform.